Good morning, Pickle Panthers. It is time for episode 36 of Wake Up Wednesdays with your school counselors. I'm Mr. Marcioni, one of your school counselors. Hey, everyone. It's Ms. Truesdell, your other school counselor. Welcome to episode 36. It is that time, eighth graders, where your sports at your high schools will be starting conditioning and all that fun summer training. So we got a few advertisements going here. First off, we'd like to advertise the La Plata Warriors Volleyball. Head coach is Miss uh, Christine Owens. Her email address is right there, cowens at ccboe.com. And her line is communication is key, hard is needed, fun is necessary. And so summer practice for her or off season training is currently going on and you are able to participate, but first you must have a current physical. You must go to the La Plata Athletics website and register, and then you will get approval once you have uploaded all the necessary documents. And if you have any questions or need help, you can contact Coach Owens uh, for the summer workout times, volleyball camps and clinics, and to be added to the volleyball email group. We also have La Plata High School Boys Soccer, who is Coach Andrews, and you can see his email address is there. And all incoming ninth graders are invited to participate in the seven versus seven summer league and summer workouts. Um, that seven versus summer league is being held by Charles County Parks and Rec. So if you're interested in it, you don't necessarily have to be going to La Plata. You could be going to McDonough or North Point. You can sign up to participate in that summer league. It costs $55. Uh, games are on Mondays and Wednesdays. But also email him for more information. Attention all future warriors who are interested in football. Workouts for incoming freshmen are getting ready to begin. If you're potentially interested in playing football in high school, we would love to have you join us. And that is from Coach Williams. Football workouts begin uh, May 26th, that's today, and they're every Wednesday and Thursday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Just like volleyball, you must have a physical within the last year and be registered at the La Plata Athletics website, which is, that's what that link is for there as well. What you need for workouts, and this happens for volleyball as well, you need your tennis shoes. Uh, for football, you need cleats. You must bring your own gallon of water and a mask to wear during an arrival and departure because that is the COVID protocols that are enforced by the school. So you have to have that and you have to have your own water because public water is not available. You can't use a water fountain. So make sure you bring enough water. And once again, if you have any questions, contact head varsity coach, Coach Williams, and there's his email address. This summer, Charles County is promoting a career technology education summer camp. Um, they have all different CT programs that I'll be focused on, business administration, nursing, collision repair, uh, cosmetology, pharmacy tech, ROTC. So if you're someone that's interested in these and you want to find out more information or you want to do something that's fun and interesting during the summer, they have two sessions, July 12th to 15th, and then session, two, session two is July 19th to the 22nd. Um, it's at North Point High School, 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., and transportation will be provided, and it's free. So it's free, there's transportation, and there's two sessions. So it's something definitely interesting to do over the summer, since I know last summer we were all kind of stuck in our houses. I also see breakfast and lunch are provided. Yeah, so you get free meals, transportation, you get to learn more about the CT programs and get more great information, and you get to interact with other students in an actual school building. As we talked about last week, the Summer Basketball League is still going on. You can still register. We will put the links in the email again. It's for ages, um, the Pee Wee is for ages five to seven, and then ages eight to 17 for the Youth Basketball League. So go ahead and get, click on the links, get more information, sign up for that. Sounds like a great opportunity to kind of get involved and be active during the summer as well. A big congratulations to Elizabeth Tober and Jack Compton for being winners in the Charles County Virtual Souls competition. Elizabeth Tober, who is in seventh grade, won out of all the other band and orchestra students in not only middle school, but also high school. In addition, she won on both her flute and violin. 
and Jack, who's a sixth grader, came in second place for the band soloist. Congratulations to both of you. As we said before, don't let any of your assignments slip by at this point. We only have three weeks left. Three weeks before the school year is over. If you're someone that's right on that borderline where you might be failing the class, you have to make sure that you're making up every assignment that you might have missed. How do you do that? Go look at your grade book, look at the class, make sure you're clicking on the uh, little button that says that you're showing all assignments and look through those assignments to see if you have any zeros in there or NHIs. This is the time that you should be doing this regularly every Wednesday or you should be doing it Tuesday to make up the work on Wednesday. If any questions or you need any help from myself and Ms. Truzel, please ask. And as you already know, this week is Spirit Week. Wednesday, the day that you'll be doing this is Pajama Day. Okay, so wear your favorite pajamas as you're doing your work and getting caught up on assignments. And then Thursday's Decades Day. Maybe you want to dress up like you're from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Ms. Truzel, what decade are you going to go with? Hmm, I normally go 80s or 90s. I like to do some big hair. Nice, I like that. Bring on the big hair. I might do 90s just because I get I have you know 10 flannels at home I can wear. Um, and then Friday is our grade level pride day. Sixth graders, please wear white. Seventh graders wear gold and eighth graders wear blue. Torch run shirts. Uh, remember, support Special Olympics, buy your torch run shirt. They're only $15. I have all sizes, they are listed there. And we are going to be hosting a Torch Run shirt day. Torch Run normally happens in June. So we have decided we're gonna pick Friday, June 5th. No, I lied, it's June 4th. It's Friday, June 4th. Uh, to wear our shirts in support of Special Olympics. And that goes for everyone to wear them, teachers and students. And remember, it's hashtag ability, not disability. And now it's time for our birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Eileen, Mark, Danica, Austin, Eric, John, Anna Kate, and Jonathan. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy birthday, May babies. It's now time for the Pico Pledge. With my words and actions, I pledge to be respectful, responsible, safe, and proud. And remember, you can't hide that Pico pride. That is the end of our video for the week. Hope you all have a pleasant weekend, a good rest of the week. And if you're someone that needs to catch up on some work, get that work done today since it is a Wednesday. Yes, make sure you're keeping up on those grades. We are coming down to crunch time. We're pulling as many students as we can to get caught up, but if you need to do it on your own, you can't just, it, it can't be where you're just doing it with us. You need to do it at home as well. Yes, and especially those of you that are virtual. I know I've been reaching out to students to try and meet with you because I'm worried about you and making sure that you get that grade you need to pass and you're not responding. And I'm trying to reach out to you as well. Again, we're just trying to talk to all the students that need to get their grades up. We want you all to be able to move on to the next grade level without any issues. Yes. Have a great week. Adios.